Hello and welcome to this episode of For Your Journey. On this episode of For Your Journey, we're going to explore the question, why should we pray? So, we have our international theme for the year that Chief Apostle gave us. It's prayer works. And prayer is a, a fundamental element of a Christian's life, hopefully, of discipleship and of a relationship with the Lord. And the question could come up, well, why, why should we pray? What's the benefit of it? What's the purpose of it? Um, we want to get your thoughts on that. Yeah, sure. I think prayer is, um, is formative to the soul. It's kind of home base, if I could use uh, that as an, as an example. It, it is a place where we have the ability to touch God and He in our life. And it can do that on a daily basis. In fact, it's kind of a, an interesting thing, right? All we say is, dear Heavenly Father, and we believe He listens. We I mean, talk about something that's absolutely divine, and He actually wants to listen. And of course, you know, we're not praying to, uh, we shouldn't pray to just give a litany of things that God probably knows even better than we do. Like He knows everything about our life. But really, it's, it's a portal for us to be able to understand what is it that God wants us to understand. It's uh, at the end of it, we always say, in Jesus' name, we pray. So implied in that is that everything before that was actually in Jesus' name. And everything that we asked, that everything that we were, have struggled with, and we poured out our heart to, to God, it wasn't necessarily to change Him, it was really to touch Him, and for Him to touch us, and to once again be recalibrated. Yeah, uh, I've heard this phrase, maybe you've heard it too, it's on those types of nice Christian placards and things, you know, prayer changes things, but also prayer changes us. You know, it's not necessarily to change God's mind or anything, it's us to understand Him better and His will better when we're seeking His will, in Jesus' name. Um, talking about God's will, maybe you've heard a similar scenario or a similar question where, you know, we want to pray, whatever the situation is. A family member is sick or they're trying to make a decision about uh, what school to go to, a, a, a teenager or something, whatever the situation is. There's a situation and I pray about it and it goes the way I want and that must have been, it's God's will, you know, and, or whatever the situation is again, my family member is sick and I pray about it, and it doesn't go the way I want, maybe this person passes away, well, it must have been God's will. So if at the end of it it's God's will anyway, what are we, what are we praying for? <laughs> What's our element of it? Should we just blanketly, God, we know it's your will, I'm just along for the ride, <laughs> you know, do we let him do his thing? What would your response be to someone posing that type of those scenarios? Well, and that actually implies like we have this disjointed relationship with God, right? That at the end of the day, everything is uh, pre-programmed and it really doesn't matter what we do. And for, for the Lord, actually, the, the reason why He listens to us, it, it matters to Him, the decisions that we make. It matters to Him how we are thinking about it. It matters to Him if we're using the gift of the Holy Spirit. So if that matters to Him, he uh, wants us to think along with Him. You know, when you pray, you, yes, you're pr talking to God, but you're also talking to yourself. Like, you're thinking along with it, right? You, 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 you're like, and, and if you've had a good prayer, the Holy Spirit doesn't just stay on the sideline. It, it interjects. It, inter it, it comes back at you. It's, it's, it's a, little bit, a little bit like, you know, you throw a pebble into the middle of a pond and it creates these concentric waves and it hits the banks and then it comes back to you. Mm -hmm. you. You are getting from the Lord what His impulses are. And yeah, there's some of those things. You know, what school should I go to? I don't know. I mean, is there a wrong answer? But is there an answer that we feel that the, the Lord has settled me on that? Mm -hmm. That's okay. And it's not as if the Lord can't help us if we decide to go to the other school. He's still going to love us. He's still going to provide for us. But it gives us God only wise in our lives. Yeah, regardless of what school you go to, He yeah. gives you opportunities to praise Him over here and yeah. to glorify Him over here. Absolutely. Uh, 
some might be easier than others depending on the situation of the school but uh, yeah no prayer prayer works again is our theme for the year prayer changes things and you talk about the the activity of the spirit in prayers romans talks about how even when we don't know what to pray the spirit intercedes for us and makes uh, something about like makes intercessions for us one translation says out of our groans like when we don't we have nothing but just a a sigh of desperation the spirit intercedes and knows how to advocate for us in that so yeah that's because we have also the lord jesus you know the lord jesus lived life mm-hmm. i mean god almighty knows what we're going through I, it's an amazing thing you know it, when he sees us struggle the fact that we're willing to share that with him he automatically wants to share with us so prayer actually brings that brings that beautiful connection and we have the opportunity every day it's, it's sometimes difficult I know that you can't always pray to the, some sort of depths. You know, sometimes it is a very, very short thing, but it's a constant connection. It's a constant reaching out. It's, it's a tool that works.